हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर गीता सुजदेवा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एन आई टी कुरुक्षेत्र द मड्यूल विच आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डेवलपमेंट एंड मेन लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मड्यूल आर फर्स्ट आई विल कवर इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट देन नेचर ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डेवलपमेंट इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डेवलपमेंट objectives of organizational development and how to implement od programs and od interventions after the completion of this module students will be able to understand the concept and meaning of organizational development and they will come to know the nature importance and various objectives of od and they will be in position like how to implement od programs and various od interventions first we should know what is od what is organizational development organizational development is a management discipline intended to increase organizations efficiency and productivity embedded in behavior science foundations od emphasizes on multi faceted interpersonal skills as they affect the problem solving actions serious to the organizations organizational development is an organized approach to organizational improvement that applies behavior science theory and research in order to enhance individual and organizational well being and efficiency it is a term used to comprise a collection of planned change interventions that pursue to enhance organizational effectiveness employee welfare it seeks to increase how organizations associate to their exterior environments and function within to achieve high performance and high quality of work life od lay emphasis on change in organization that is planned and executed purposely it is both an applied area of social practice and a field of scientific inquiry practitioners like managers staff experts and consultants apply pertinent knowledge and approaches to organization change processes while researchers study those processes to arise new knowledge that can consequently be implemented elsewhere in practice this difference between application and knowledge generation is not straightforward as od practitioner researchers regularly work thoroughly together to mutually apply knowledge and learn from those experience therefore we can say that od is an action science where knowledge is established in the perspective of applying it and learning from the outcomes further OD includes a variety of concepts approaches for ordering the organization the subsequent definition will make it clear first one is OD is a system wide process of applying behavioral science knowledge to the plan change and development of the strategies design components and process that enable organization to be effective second is like od discusses a complete system like a team department or the whole organization it also deals with relations between a system and its environment as well as among us the diverse feature that include a system's design this system wide application follows from an open system approach to organizations OD emphasizes on altering and improving three important aspects of organization. First one is strategies. Strategies deal with how organization use their resources to achieve competitive advantage. This comprises varieties about the function an organization will do, the products or service it will offer, and the markets and the consumer it will serve. second component is design components it include decisions about organization structure work design measurement system human resource practices and third component is processes processes deal with how organization go about doing things contain 
how employees relate to each other and their task and how diverse functions like communication and decision making are carried out. OD seeks to carry similarity or fit among its strategies, design components and processes so that they jointly direct and strengthen organizational behavior in a strategic direction. Lastly, OD emphasis on increasing organizational effectiveness. This comprises assisting organization to gain high performance, decent quality of work life, capability for sustained problem solving development. Effective organizations execute at high levels while meeting the requirements of many stakeholders like owners, customers, employees, suppliers and government. Effective organizations are capable to resolve their own difficulties while incessantly refining and renewing themselves. There are some underlying values in OD efforts. The OD paradigm values human and organizational development, cooperative and participatory processes and a spirit of inquiry. The change agent might be directive in OD, however there is a robust stress on collaboration. Notions like power, authority, control, conflict and force are held in relatively low esteem among us OD change agents. According to Robbins, the following are the underlying values in most OD efforts. First underlying values that must be considered is respect for people. Individuals are perceived as being accountable, meticulous and caring. They should be treated with self-worth and esteem. Next value is trust and support. The effective and healthy organization is categorized by faith, genuineness, openness and a supportive climate. Next value is power equalization. Effective organizations de-emphasize hierarchical authority and control. Next one is confrontation. Problems should not be cleared under the rug. They should be agreeably confronted. Next value is participation. The more that people who will be affected by change are involved in the decisions surrounding that change, the more they will be dedicated to applying those decisions. Nature of organization development. First nature is OD emphasis on development of organization culture. OD emphasis on whole development of organization and individual with win-win strategy. Next nature is it trusts profoundly on action research. It deals with enhancement of ongoing processes. OD emphasis on whole system change and views organization as complex social system. Delegation of authority, empowerment and quality of work life, a sense of autonomy are the symbol of OD program. OD practitioners are facilitators and collaborators. They are assistant in identification of problem areas, reaching a solution, execution and feedback is essential because the services are valuable. Next one is OD is characterized by study and development of multi-ethnic culture that is supportive of work ethics. Persons with varied value system, culture and interest should be able to work effectively under one roof and attain pleasant relationship with fellow employees. Then it should be able to assist attain organizational effectiveness. Organizational development is the combined accountability of owners, employees, investors, society, government agencies and consumers. It must be understood that organization exists for all of them. Next is Importance of organizational development, why we need organizational development. See productivity, efficiency, morale and quality of work life are of the apprehensions to maximum organizations because they influence accomplishment of organizations aim. There is growing trend to maximize an organizations investment in its employees. Jobs that previously requisite 
physical dexterity now need more mental effort. Organizations need to work smarter and implement inventive ideas. The workforce has also transformed. Employees expect from day's work than simply a day's pay. They want challenge, acknowledgement and sense of achievement, valuable tasks and significant relationships with their managers and co-workers. When these requirements are not met, performance drops. Today's customers demand incessantly enhancing quality, fast product or service delivery, rapid turnaround time on changes, competitive pricing and other features that are the best achieved in complex environment by inventive organizational practices. The effective organization must be capable to meet today's and tomorrow's challenges. Flexibility and receptiveness are vital to subsist and flourish. Because of these reasons, there is a great importance to apply OD programs in the organization. What are the main objectives of organizational development? First, it focuses on individual and group development. It deals with the development of organization culture and processes by continuous communication between members regardless of level of hierarchy. Then it inculcates team spirit. It does empowerment of social side of employees. It focuses on value development. It gives emphasis on employee participation, problem solving and decision making at several levels. Then it evaluates present subsystems and introduction of new system thus gaining total system change if essential. Next objective is transformation and achievement of competitive advantage of the organization. It achieves organization growth by whole human inputs by way of research development, innovations, creativity and exploiting human talent. Then it lays stress on behavioral modification, self-managed team as the basic unit of an organization. So these were some of the objectives of OD program. Next is how to implement OD programs. OD effort mainly involves two groups of activity. First one is action research and second one is interventions. Action research was invented in the 1940s by Levin and other US researchers John Collar. It is a procedure of thoroughly collecting data on a specific organization, feeding it back for gathering and reflecting on more data. Data gathering methods comprise everything from surveys and questionnaires to interviews, uh, collages, drawings and tests, etc. The data is often assessed and inferred using advanced statistical analysis techniques. Action research can be thought of as the analytic constituent of the OD process, but it also includes the intervention component whereby the change agent uses action plans to interfere in the organization and make changes. In an incision process, the outcomes of actions are measured and assessed and new action plans are planned to effect new changes. Thus, the intervention process can be considered an aspect of action research. The first stage in OD process is acknowledgement of a problem by key executives. Those manager then consultant with the change agent, change agent may be a group or individual who collects data, offer feedback to the executives and then assist them to define and change objectives. Then the agent does new research within the context of specified OD objectives, provides more feedback, invents a plan of action and then arbitrates in the company to effect change. After or during the interventions, data is collected, feedback is delivered, actions are planned 
and execute it and the process is repeated. Next is OD interventions. Organizational development is an exclusive organizational improvement strategy. The set of structured and planned activities accepted by groups or individuals in an organization as a part of the organizational development program are recognized as OD techniques or OD interventions. Whereas change programs might involve either outside or inside consultants, OD intervention generally contain outside consultants. OD interventions are set of structured activities in which selected organizational units, it may be group or individuals, they involve in a task or series of tasks with the aims of organizational improvement and individual development. OD interventions are plans or programs encompassed of definite activities intended to effect change in some aspect of an organization. Several interventions have been established over the years to address diverse problems or create many results. Though they all are geared towards the aim of enhancing whole organization through change. In overall, organizations that desire to attain a high degree of organizational change will employ a full variety of interventions counting those intended to transmit individual and group behavior and their attitudes. Entities endeavoring small changes will halt short of those aims applying interventions directed mainly toward functional policies, management structures, work skill and personal policies. OD interventions can be classified in many ways comprising function, the type of group which they are envisioned or the company to which they apply. In fact, WL French recognized 13 major families of interventions founded on the type of activity that they comprised. Activity groups comprise team building, survey feedback, structural change and career planning. One appropriate technique of categorizing OD intervention is by group size and interrelationship containing interpersonal relationships, group processes, intergroup systems and the whole organization. Usually an OD program will concurrently assimilate more than one of these interventions. A few of more prevalent interventions are concisely discussed. These are sensitivity training, survey feedback, process consultation, team building and intergroup development. First one is sensitivity training. It is a psychological technique in which rigorous group discussion and interactions are used to improve individual cognizance of self and others. It is exercised in many form under such names like T group, encounter group, human relation and group dynamic training. The group is generally small, unstructured and select its own aims. An important part of sensitivity training is a sharing by each participant of the group of his or her own exclusive perceptions of everybody else present. This in turn discloses information about his or her own individual qualities, apprehensions, emotional issues and things that he or she has in common with other participants of the group. A group's trainer abstains from acting as a group leader or lecturer, biding instead to explain the group processes, using events as instances to explain journal points or offer feedback. The group action generally is the aim as well as the process. Sensitivity training strive for to educate its members and lead to more productive and constructive behavior. It regards insight and corrective emotional or behavioral experience as more significant objectives than those of genuine therapy. The feedback part of training assists to facilitate this because the members in group can recognize individuals purpose, aims and behaviors in certain circumstances that rise inside the group. Group members can assist people to learn 
whether exhibited behavior is meaningful or effective and the feedback loop operates unceasingly spreading the opportunity to learn more suitable behavior next od intervention is survey feedback survey feedback is used for evaluating the attitudes held by the employees of organizations detecting differences among us member perceptions and resolving these these similarities each person in an organization can partake in this survey feedback but of main prominence is the organizational family the manager of any given unit and those employees who report straight to him or her a questionnaire is generally filled by all employees in the organization organizational members might be asked to propose or might be interviewed to conclude what issues are pertinent the questionnaire usually asks members for their perceptions and attitudes on a wide range of topics comprising decision making practices communication effectiveness coordination between units and satisfaction with the organization job peers and their direct supervisor the data from these questionnaires are tabulated with data relating to an individual specific family and to the whole organization and circulated to employees these data then become the facilitator for ascertaining problems and clarifying issues that might be creating problems for people in some cases the manager might be counseled by an outside change agent about the meaning of the answer to the questionnaire and might even be given recommended guidelines for leading the organizational family in group discussion of the outcomes specific consideration is given to the significance of boosting discussion and confirming that discussion emphasis on issues and ideas and not on attacking individuals lastly group discussion in the survey feedback approach should result in member recognizing probable implications of the questioner's finding are member listening are new ideas being produced can decision making interpersonal relations or job assignments be upgraded responses to question like this it is expected will result in group approving upon commitments to many actions that will cure the problems that are recognized next od intervention is process consultation the objective of process consultation is for an external od consultant is to support the management to perceive understand and act upon process events inside the organization the consultant notices the processes like communication patterns decision making and leadership styles approaches of cooperation and conflict resolution among its members and group and act as a guide or a coach who counsels on how these processes can be enhanced in common all od efforts are intended to fetch changes in the conceptual environment of an organization as well as the view point of organizational member each member starts to see himself as a source to others and is prepared to give his sustenance to his colleagues when such sustenance is required the conceptual environment carries about open and free expression of feelings emotions and perceptions it also assists members to improve interpersonal competence counting communication skills and an insight into themselves and others there are certain process in the process consultation these are first one is initial contact in this step client comes into the contact with the consultant and states a problem that cannot be resolved by usual organizational processes or resources second step is define the relationship after recognizing the precise problem areas the consultant and client go into a formal contract the formal contract spells out the services times and the fees of the consultant essentially there is also a psychological contract because both parties are engrossed in the satisfaction of certain expectations next one is select the method of work it includes a clear cut understanding of where and how the consultant will perform the job each employee in the organization is made aware of who the consultant is 
so that he can assist the consultant by supplying the vital information. Next step is collecting data and diagnosis. The consultant devotes time in gathering the pertinent information. Generally, he collects data through questionnaire, observation, personal interviews, etc. and then makes in-depth analysis of the problems. Next step is intervention. Numerous interventions by the consultants like agenda setting, feedback, coaching and structural recommendations are made in the process consultation approach. During this stage, the resolutions planned by the consultants will be decoded into action in the organization. Then next step is reducing involvement and termination. When the aims of OD interventions have been positively attained, the consultant leaves the organization by finishing the formal contract with the client. So this was the process consultation technique. Next technique is intergroup development. Just as there are problems inside a group, there are problems among us two or more different groups who are co-dependent among us themselves. The action of these groups must be coordinated and harmonized to attain the organization goals and any unhealthy competition between the group must be removed. Other problem might include conflict over coinciding responsibilities or muddled lines of authority. Some instances of such groups where conflicts might lie at sales and production, line and staff, labor and management, hospital and administrator and doctors in a hospital, etc. All these problems and conflict must be resolved in spirit of faith, generosity and openness. Team building activities are intended to improve the effectiveness and satisfaction of individuals who work in groups in order to increase the effectiveness of the whole group. It is significant to identify work group's problem as early as possible so that clarifications can be applied before the problems can do any harm. These might be task connected problems or personality conflict problems inside the group. The group's work related issues can be simplified by altering the way things are done by readdressing the resources used and re-examining the work processes. The interpersonal relationships inside the team can be increased by creating the environment which is open, reliable, where members can openly and easily communicate their feelings and thoughts, where leadership develops on the basis of respect and functional excellence and where conflicts are resolved on the basis of common understanding. Thus, in this module, we have come to know that OD provides a prescription for increasing the fit between the individuals and the organization, between the organization and the environment and among us the organization constituents like strategy, structured process. The prescription is executed through inventions, actions that address exact problematical conditions. Organization development is a constant process. The programs are executed on short term as well as long term basis. Organization transformations OT can be termed as a second generation OD as recommended by Paris and Silvers. Organization development is a set of behavioral science based theories values, strategies and techniques intended at the planned change of the organizational work setting for the aim of improving individual development and enhancing organizational performance through the modification of organizational member on the job behaviors. In OD, there is a mutual influence between culture, strategy, structure and processes. Each is imperative and each affects the other. Innovations are carried out to resolve intricate organizational problems through laboratory training, survey research and feedback methodology, action research, socio-technical and socio-clinical approach to organization development. So in this module, there are some significant points which must be considered 
like first is like OD is related with plant change. The study of OD is concerned with total organization systems and processes. OD involves initiating actions so that organizations are transformed into learning organization. The study of OD is aimed at developing overall organization with particular reference to the development of organization renewing capacity. OD practitioners are facilitators and collaborators. Their assistant in identification of problem areas, reaching at a solution, execution and feedback is very essential. Thank you.